Since July, graphite electrode market has been in a state of weak supply and demand. Enterprises are faced with the phenomenon of high production costs, low finished product prices and upside down production profits. Most graphite electrode plants have turned to other processes, and only a few old enterprises are struggling to operate. Although the price has been pushed up by 500 to 1000 yuan ton at the end of October, the enterprise still cannot get rid of the loss situation. From January to June 2022, graphite electrode price showed a slight upward trend, but after July, price fell all the way, and market quotation rose by 500 to 1000 yuan ton until the end of October. By the beginning of November, the price range of UHP 600 and was 24,500 to 25,000 yuan ton, UHP 700 and was 29,500 to 30,500 yuan ton, HP 500 and was 21,000 to 22,500 yuan ton, and RP 500 and was 18,500 to 20,000 yuan ton. Market prices are mainly driven up by the recovery of downstream steel plants, and the demand for graphite electrode external purchasing picked up slightly. From January to September 2022, graphite electrode operating rate in China averaged 45%, a year-on-year -year decrease of 16 percentage points. Since July, operating rate has dropped significantly. By the end of October, operating rate was nearly 23%. Most small enterprises switched to crucible production or negative electrode graphitization processing. Only the old enterprises such as Fangba, Pingmai, Jilin Carbon, and 83 Graphite insist on production, mainly to ensure the source of raw materials for fixed cooperation customers. Since July, Graphite electrode production gross profit has been in the upside down, ranging from minus 1000 to minus 2000 yuan ton. Even if price has risen by 1000 yuan ton, the current deficit production cannot be reversed. In the short term, the terminal steel plant production or maintains the current small fluctuation level, graphite electrode inventory gradually decreases, and the mentality of holding price still exists. Graphite electrode price is still slightly pushed up. However, the steel industry downturn is difficult to change in the short term, and downstream demand has not improved significantly. The weak supply and demand situation may last until the end of the year, 